Pastor John Paul Miller has absolutely no reason to stage the passing of his soon-to-be ex-wife, Micah Miller. This is the most common response from people who are supporting him and speaking out publicly in his defense. And to be fair, motive matters. So what if I could provide a potential motive to explain his possible involvement surrounding the passing of Micah Miller? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to the point. So let's get to it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Now, I am assuming at this point we've all heard the phrase follow the money or that money is the root of all evil. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Because I ran across a story from the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina News, and there's a very interesting statement within one of these paragraphs. She was even sleeping couch to couch, terrified of him finding and committing her again. From another friend, Micah escaped JP in February of 2024. Friends were hiding Micah. She found out he was doing things with the money from the church, and after that, he put her in a hospital again. When she got out, she told her friend, I'm not mentally ill. I'm not sick. I do not want to harm myself. And he is going to make it look like I harmed myself. He's going to try to frame me. One day, I know he's going to do it. The church is not listed in the Southern Baptist Convention, nor is it listed as a nonprofit. This could have been what Micah found out. He was committing tax fraud and has been for years. So how is that paragraph valid and what does that have to do with what's going on right now? Well, remember also very early on there were reports that said Micah had filed support and maintenance requests with the county while she was in the middle of her divorce. And what that request essentially says is that while Micah and John were married, he had at least to some degree provided some or all of the financial support within their marriage. And now that they're separated, Micah would need assistance to offset some of her costs and debts that she accrued while being married to John Paul. So she would have needed some type of money coming in until a judge made a final ruling in determining whether she would get alimony or if anybody was going to have to pay for anything. But judges don't typically make this ruling based off one person's good reputation or hearsay. A judge is going to require that you provide your financial information to the court, which would ultimately mean that they're going to have to provide proof of their income to include, in particular, bank statements. Now imagine that if John Paul was doing something shady with the church funds, what that would look like if that information came out in public record through this particular court hearing. Now imagine how financially ruined John Paul would have been if he would have had to have submitted these financial records to the court because those records would have now became public record meaning anybody and everybody could view what he is exactly spending this money on and where it's coming from. What could have potentially happened to his lifestyle if it became discovered that he was doing squirrely stuff with the church funds? And as anyone else thought it was odd that while he was announcing to the whole church that his wife had recently passed away, he had made the statement that he was going to be gone for a couple days or a couple weeks, but according to Google right now, Solid Rock is permanently closed. And it absolutely blew my mind that during that same speech, he specifically told the people of his congregation that they needed to continue to go to church and give money to the church. Now, I can only speak for myself here, but if something would have happened to my wife, whether we were going through a divorce or not, the last thing I would be thinking about is who's going to donate money to my organization. And let's also keep in mind that there's several allegations floating around online right now about John Paul's father. And if those allegations are true, does that make this potential theory plausible or is it completely ridiculous? Of course, at the end of the day, everything is an allegation until proven in a court of law. But to simply say the timing is odd is an understatement. Like I've said multiple times, there's more information and more layers to discuss, and things are coming out faster than anybody can make a video on it. And if there's something in particular within this story you want me to talk about, let me know down in the comments below. 
Y'all be safe now.